Animal sacrifice is the ritual killing and offering of an animal usually as part of a religious ritual or to appease or maintain favor with a deity. Animal sacrifices were common throughout Europe and the ancient Near East until late antiquity, and continue in some cultures or religions today. Human sacrifice, where it existed, was always much more rare. All or only part of a sacrificial animal may be offered. Some cultures, like the ancient and modern Greeks, eat most of the edible parts of the sacrifice in a feast, and burnt the rest as an offering. Others, including the ancient Hebrews, burnt the whole animal offering, called a holocaust. Animal sacrifice should generally be distinguished from the religiously prescribed methods of ritual slaughter of animals for normal consumption as food. During the Neolithic Revolution, early humans began to move from hunter-gatherer cultures toward agriculture, leading to the spread of animal domestication. In a theory presented in Homo Neckens, mythologist Walter Burkert suggests that the ritual sacrifice of livestock may have developed as a continuation of ancient hunting rituals, as livestock replaced wild game in the food supply. Prehistory Ancient Egypt was at the forefront of domestication, and some of the earliest archaeological evidence suggesting animal sacrifice comes from Egypt. The oldest Egyptian burial sites containing animal remains originate from the Badari culture of Upper Egypt, which flourished between 4400 and 4000 BC. Sheep and goats were found buried in their own graves at one site, while at another site gazelles were found at the feet of several human burials. At a cemetery uncovered at Hierakonpolis and dated to 3000 BC, the remains of a much wider variety of animals were found, including non-domestic species such as baboons and hippopotami, which may have been sacrificed in honor of powerful former citizens or buried near their former owners. According to Herodotus, later dynastic Egyptian animal sacrifice became restricted to livestock, sheep, cattle, swine, and geese, with sets of rituals and rules to describe each type of sacrifice. By the end of Copper Age in 3000 BC, animal sacrifice had become a common practice across many cultures, and appeared to have become more generally restricted to domestic livestock. At Gath, archaeological evidence indicates that the Canaanites imported sacrificial sheep and goats from Egypt rather than selecting from their own livestock. At the Monte Dakadi in Sardinia, one of the earliest known sacred centers in Europe, evidence of the sacrifice of sheep, cattle and swine has been uncovered by excavations, and it is indicated that ritual sacrifice may have been common across Italy around 3000 BC and afterwards. At the Minoan settlement of Phaistos in ancient Crete, excavations have revealed basins for animal sacrifice dating to the period 2000 to 1700 BC. Topic: <inaudible> Ancient Near East. Animal sacrifice was general among the ancient Near Eastern civilizations of ancient Mesopotamia, Egypt and Persia, as well as the Hebrews covered below. Unlike the Greeks, who had worked out a justification for keeping the best edible parts of the sacrifice for the assembled humans to eat, in these cultures the whole animal was normally placed on the fire by the altar and burned, or sometimes it was buried. <laughs> ancient Greece Worship in ancient Greek religion typically consisted of sacrificing domestic animals at the altar with hymn and prayer. The altar was outside any temple building, and might not be associated with a temple at all. The animal, which should be perfect of its kind, is decorated with garlands and the like, and led in procession to the altar, a girl with a basket on her head containing the concealed knife leading the way. After various rituals the animal is slaughtered over the altar, as it falls all the women present, must cry out in high, shrill tones. Its blood is collected and poured over the altar. It is butchered on the spot and various internal organs, bones and other inedible parts burn as the deity's portion of the offering, while the meat is removed to be prepared for the participants to eat, the leading figures tasting it on the spot. The temple usually kept the skin, to sell to tanners. That the humans got more use from the sacrifice than the deity had not escaped the Greeks, and is often the subject of humor in Greek comedy, the animals used are, in order of preference, bull or ox, cow, sheep the most common, goat, pig with piglet the cheapest mammal, and poultry but rarely other birds or fish. Horses and asses are seen on some vases in the geometric style 900-750 BC, but are very rarely mentioned in literature, they were relatively late introductions to Greece, and it has been suggested that Greek preferences in this matter go very far back. 
The Greeks liked to believe that the animal was glad to be sacrificed, and interpreted various behaviors as showing this. Divination by examining parts of the sacrificed animal was much less important than in Roman or Etruscan religion, or Near Eastern religions, but was practiced, especially of the liver, and as part of the cult of Apollo. Generally, the Greeks put more faith in observing the behavior of birds. For a smaller and simpler offering, a grain of incense could be thrown on the sacred fire, and outside the cities farmers made simple sacrificial gifts of plant produces the first fruits were harvested. Although the grand form of sacrifice called the hecatome meaning 100 bulls might in practice only involve a dozen or so, at large festivals the number of cattle sacrificed could run into the hundreds, and the numbers feasting on them well into the thousands. The enormous Hellenistic structures of the altar of Hieron and Pergamon altar were built for such occasions. The evidence of the existence of such practices is clear in some ancient Greek literature, especially in Homer's epics. Throughout the poems, the use of the ritual is apparent at banquets where meat is served, in times of danger or before some important endeavor to gain the favor of the gods. For example, in Homer's Odyssey Eumaeus sacrifices a pig with prayer for his unrecognizable master Odysseus. However, in Homer's Iliad, which partly reflects very early Greek civilization, not every banquet of the princes begins with a sacrifice. These sacrificial practices, described in these pre Homeric eras, share commonalities to the 8th century forms of sacrificial rituals. Furthermore, throughout the poem, special banquets are held whenever gods indicated their presence by some sign or success in war. Before setting out for Troy, this type of animal sacrifice is offered. Odysseus offers Zeus a sacrificial ram in vain. The occasions of sacrifice in Homer's epic poems may shed some light onto the view of the gods as members of society, rather than as external entities, indicating social ties. Sacrificial rituals played a major role in forming the relationship between humans and the divine. It has been suggested that the Thonic deities, distinguished from Olympic deities by typically being offered the Holocaust mode of sacrifice, where the offering is wholly burnt, may be remnants of the native pre-Hellenic religion and that many of the Olympian deities may come from the Proto-Greeks who overran the southern part of the Balkan Peninsula in the late 3rd millennium BC, in the Hellenistic period after the death of Alexander the Great in 323 BC, several new philosophical movements began to question the ethics of animal sacrifice. Scythians According to the unique account by the Greek author Herodotus c. 484 c. 425 BC, the Scythians sacrificed various kinds of livestock, though the most prestigious offering was considered to be the horse. The pig, on the other hand, was never offered in sacrifice, and apparently the Scythians were loath to keep swine within their lands. Herodotus describes the Scythian manner of sacrifice as follows. The victim stands with its four feet tied, and the sacrificing priest stands behind the victim, and by pulling the end of the cord he throws the beast down, and as the victim falls, he calls upon the god to whom he is sacrificing, and then at once throws a noose round its neck, and putting a small stick into it he turns it round and so strangles the animal, without either lighting a fire or making any first offering from the victim or pouring any libation over it, and when he has strangled it and flayed off the skin, he proceeds to boil it. Then when the flesh is boiled, the sacrificer takes a first offering of the flesh and of the vital organs and casts it in front of him. Herodotus goes on to describe the human sacrifice of prisoners, conducted in a different manner. <inaudible> Ancient Rome The most potent offering in ancient Roman religion was animal sacrifice, typically of domesticated animals such as cattle, sheep and pigs. Each was the best specimen of its kind, cleansed, clad in sacrificial regalia and garlanded, the horns of oxen might be gilded. Sacrifice sought the harmonization of the earthly and divine, so the victim must seem willing to offer its own life on behalf of the community, it must remain calm and be quickly and cleanly dispatched. Sacrifice to deities of the heavens de superi, gods above, was performed in daylight, and under the public gaze. Deities of the upper heavens required white, infertile victims of their own sex, Juno a white heifer possibly a white cow, Jupiter a white, castrated ox bas mas for the annual oath taking by the consuls. D. superi with strong connections to the earth, such as Mars, Janus, Neptune and various genii, including the emperors, were offered fertile victims. 
After the sacrifice, a banquet was held. In state cults, the images of honored deities took pride of place on banqueting couches and by means of the sacrificial fire consumed their proper portion. Extra, the innards. Rome's officials and priests reclined in order of precedence alongside and ate the meat. Lesser citizens may have had to provide their own. Thonic gods such as Dispater, the De Inferi, gods below, and the collective shades of the departed D mains were given dark, fertile victims in nighttime rituals. Animal sacrifice usually took the form of a holocaust or burnt offering, and there was no shared banquet, as the living cannot share a meal with the dead. Ceres and other underworld goddesses of fruitfulness were sometimes offered pregnant female animals. Tellus was given a pregnant cow at the Fortisidia festival. Color had a general symbolic value for sacrifices. Demigods and heroes, who belonged to the heavens and the underworld, were sometimes given black and white victims. Robigo or Robigus was given red dogs and libations of red wine at the Robigalia for the protection of crops from blight and red mildew. A sacrifice might be made in thanksgiving or as an expiation of a sacrilege or potential sacrilege piaculum. A piaculum might also be offered as a sort of advance payment. The Arval brethren, for instance, offered a piaculum before entering their sacred grove with an iron implement, which was forbidden, as well as after. The pig was a common victim for a piaculum. The same divine agencies who caused disease or harm also had the power to avert it, and so might be placated in advance. Divine consideration might be sought to avoid the inconvenient delays of a journey, or encounters with banditry, piracy and shipwreck, with due gratitude to be rendered on safe arrival or return. In times of great crisis, the Senate could decree collective public rites, in which Rome's citizens, including women and children, moved in procession from one temple to the next, supplicating the gods. Extraordinary circumstances called for extraordinary sacrifice. In one of the many crises of the Second Punic War, Jupiter Capitolinus was promised every animal born that spring, severe sacrum, to be rendered after five more years of protection from Hannibal and his allies. The contract with Jupiter is exceptionally detailed. All due care would be taken of the animals. If any died or were stolen before the scheduled sacrifice, they would count as already sacrificed, since they had already been consecrated. Normally, if the gods failed to keep their side of the bargain, the offered sacrifice would be withheld. In the imperial period, sacrifice was withheld following Trajan's death because the gods had not kept the emperor safe for the stipulated period. In Pompeii, the genius of the living emperor was offered a bull, presumably a standard practice in imperial cult, though minor offerings incense and wine were also made. The exta were the entrails of a sacrificed animal, comprising in Cicero's enumeration the gall bladder fell, liver i.e. cur, heart core, and lungs pulmones. The exta were exposed for litatio divine approval as part of Roman liturgy, but were read in the context of the Disciplina Etrusca. As a product of Roman sacrifice, the exta and blood are reserved for the gods, while the meat viscera is shared among human beings in a communal meal. The exta of bovine victims were usually stewed in a pot ala or ala, while those of sheep or pigs were grilled on skewers. When the deity's portion was cooked, it was sprinkled with mola salsa ritually prepared salted flour and wine, then placed in the fire on the altar for the offering. The technical verb for this action was porichere. Topic. Iron Age Europe Too little is known about either Celtic paganism or the earlier Germanic equivalent to be confident about their practices, other than the claims of Roman sources that human sacrifice was included, they do not bother to report on the less sensational sacrifice of animals. In the rather later Norse paganism, the blot sacrifice and feast is better recorded. Like the Greeks, the Norse seem to have eaten most of the sacrifice. Human prisoners were also sometimes sacrificed. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Abrahamic traditions. Topic: <inaudible> 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 Judaism. In Judaism, the korban is any of a variety of sacrificial offerings described and commanded in the Torah. The most common usages are animal sacrifice, zeva zeba, zeva shelamim, the peace offering, and Allah, the holocaust, or burnt offering. A korban was an animal sacrifice, such as a bull, sheep, goat, or a dove that underwent shichita, Jewish ritual slaughter. Sacrifices could also consist grain, meal, wine, or incense. The Hebrew Bible says that Yahweh commanded the Israelites to offer offerings and sacrifices on various altars. 
The sacrifices were only to be offered by the hands of the Kohanim. Before building the temple in Jerusalem, when the Israelites were in the desert, sacrifices were offered only in the tabernacle. After building Solomon's temple, sacrifices were allowed only there. After the temple was destroyed, sacrifices was resumed when the second temple was built until it was also destroyed in 70 CE. After the destruction of the second temple sacrifices were prohibited because there was no longer a temple, the only place allowed by Halakha for sacrifices. Offering of sacrifices was briefly reinstated during the Jewish-Roman wars of the 2nd century CE and was continued in certain communities thereafter. The Samaritans, a group historically related to the Jews, practice animal sacrifice in accordance with the law of Moses. Topic: <laughs> Christianity. References to animal sacrifice appear in the New Testament, such as the parents of Jesus sacrificing two doves Luke chapter 2 verse 24 and the Apostle Paul performing a Nazarite vow even after the death of Christ Acts chapter 21 verses 23 to 26. Christ is referred to by his apostles as the Lamb of God, the one to whom all sacrifices pointed Hebrews chapter 10. According to the penal substitution theory of atonement, Christ's crucifixion is comparable to animal sacrifice on a large scale as his death serves as a substitutionary punishment for all of humanity's sins. Though never a part of the doctrine or theology of any Christian group and often attracting criticism, some rural Christian communities have continued to sacrifice animals which are then consumed in a feast as part of worship, especially at Easter. The animal may be brought into the church before being taken out again and killed. Some villages in Greece sacrifice animals to Orthodox saints in a practice known as kurbanya. Sacrifice of a lamb, or less commonly a rooster, is a common practice in Armenian church, and the Tewahedo Church of Ethiopia and Eritrea. This tradition, called mata, is believed to stem from pre-Christian pagan rituals. Additionally, some Mayans following a form of folk Catholicism in Mexico today still sacrifice animals in conjunction with church practices, a ritual practiced in past religions before the arrival of the Spaniards. <laughs> Strangite Latter-day Saints Animal sacrifice was instituted in the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints Strangite, a minor Latter-day Saint faction founded by James J. Strang in 1844. Strang's Book of the Law of the Lord 1851 deals with the topic of animal sacrifice in chapters 7 and 40. Given the prohibition on sacrifices for sin contained in 3 Nephi 919-20 Book of Mormon, Strang did not require sin offerings. Rather, he focused on sacrifice as an element of religious celebrations, especially the commemoration of his own coronation as king over his church, which occurred on July 8, 1850. The head of every house, from the king to his lowest subject, was to offer a heifer, or a lamb, or a dove, every man a clean beast, or a clean fowl, according to his household. While the killing of sacrifices was a prerogative of strangite priests, female priests were specifically barred from participating in this aspect of the priestly office. First fruits offerings were also demanded of all strangite agricultural harvests. Animal sacrifices are no longer practiced by the strangite organization, though belief in their correctness is still required. Neither the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints nor the Community of Christ, the two largest Latter-day Saint factions, ever accepted Strang's teachings on this or any other subject. Topic: <laughs> Islam. Muslims engaged in the Hajj pilgrimage are obliged to sacrifice a lamb or a goat or join others in sacrificing a cow or a camel during the celebration of the Eid al-Adha, an Arabic term that means feast of sacrifice, also known as al-Id al-Kabir, great feast, or Kurban Bayaremi, sacrifice feast in Turkic influenced cultures, Bakar Id, goat feast in Indian subcontinent and Riraya Kurban in Indonesia. Other Muslims not on the Hajj to Mecca also participate in this sacrifice wherever they are, on the tenth day of the twelfth lunar month in the Islamic calendar. It is understood as a symbolic reenactment of Abraham's sacrifice of a ram in place of his son. Meat from this occasion is divided into three parts, one part is kept by the sacrificing family for food, the other gifted to friends and family, and the third given to the poor Muslims. The sacrificed animal is a sheep, goat, cow or camel. The feast follows a communal prayer at a mosque or open air. 
The animal sacrifice during the Hajj is a part of nine-step pilgrimage ritual. It is, states Campo, preceded by a statement to intention and body purification, inaugural circumambulation of the Kaaba seven times, running between Marwa and Safa hills, encampment at Mina, standing in Arafat, stoning the three Mina satanic pillars with at least 49 pebbles. Thereafter, animal sacrifice, and this is followed by farewell circumambulation of the Kaaba. The Muslims who are not on Hajj also perform a simplified ritual animal sacrifice. According to Campo, the animal sacrifice at the annual Islamic festival has origins in Western Arabia in vogue before Islam. The animal sacrifice, states Philip Stewart, is not required by the Quran, but is based on interpretations of other Islamic texts. The Eid al-Adha is major annual festival of animal sacrifice in Islam. In Indonesia alone, for example, some 800,000 animals were sacrificed in 2014 by its Muslims on the festival, but the number can be a bit lower or higher depending on the economic conditions. According to Leslie Hazelton, in Turkey about 2,500,000 sheep, cows and goats are sacrificed each year to observe the Islamic festival of animal sacrifice, with a part of the sacrificed animal given to the needy who didn't sacrifice an animal. According to The Independent, nearly 10 million animals are sacrificed in Pakistan every year on Eid. Countries such as Saudi Arabia transport nearly a million animals every year for sacrifice to Mina near Mecca. The sacrificed animals at Eid al-Adha, states Clark Brook, include the four species considered lawful for the Hajj sacrifice, sheep, goats, camels and cattle, and additionally, cow-like animals initialing the water buffalo, domesticated bantang and yaks. Many are brought in from North Africa and parts of Asia. Other occasions when Muslims perform animal sacrifice include the Akika, when a child is seven days old, is shaved and given a name. It is believed that the animal sacrifice binds the child to Islam and offers protection to the child from evil. Killing of animals by that biha is ritual slaughter rather than sacrifice. <laughs> Hinduism Practices of Hindu animal sacrifice are mostly associated with Shaktism, an incurrence of folk Hinduism strongly rooted in local tribal traditions. Animal sacrifices were carried out in ancient times in India. Hindu scriptures, including the Gita, and the Puranas forbid animal sacrifice. Animal sacrifice is a part of some Durga Puja celebrations during the Navratri in eastern states of India. The goddess is offered sacrificial animal in this ritual in the belief that it stimulates her violent vengeance against the buffalo demon. According to Christopher Fuller, the animal sacrifice practice is rare among Hindus during Navratri, or at other times, outside the Shaktism tradition found in the eastern Indian states of West Bengal, Odisha and Assam. Further, even in these states, the festival season is one where significant animal sacrifices are observed. In some Shakta Hindu communities, the slaying of buffalo demon and victory of Durga is observed with a symbolic sacrifice instead of animal sacrifice. The Rajput of Rajasthan worshipped their weapons and horses on Navratri, and formerly offered a sacrifice of a goat to a goddess revered as Kuldevi, a practice that continues in some places. The ritual requires slaying of the animal with a single stroke. In the past, this ritual was considered a rite of passage into manhood and readiness as a warrior. The Kuldevi among these Rajput communities is a warrior Padavrata guardian goddess, with local legends tracing reverence for her during Rajput Muslim wars. The tradition of animal sacrifice is being substituted with vegetarian offerings to the goddess in temples and households around Banaras in northern India. There are Hindu temples in Assam and West Bengal, India, and Nepal where goats, chickens, and sometimes water buffaloes are sacrificed. These sacrifices are performed mainly at temples following the Shakti school of Hinduism where the female nature of Brahman is worshipped in the form of Kali and Durga. There are many village temples in Tamil Nadu where this kind of sacrifice takes place. In some sacred groves of India, particularly in western Maharashtra, animal sacrifice is practiced to pacify female deities that are supposed to rule the groves. Animal sacrifice on mass occurs during the three-day-long Gautami festival in Nepal. In 2009 it was speculated that more than 250,000 animals were killed while 5 million devotees attended the festival. In India, ritual of animal sacrifice is practiced in many villages before local deities or certain powerful and terrifying forms of the Devi. 
In this form of worship, animals, usually goats, are decapitated and the blood is offered to deity often by smearing some of it on a post outside the temple, or instance, Kandhan Bhuti is the reigning deity of Kantamal in Bud district of Orissa, India. Every year, animals like goat and fowl are sacrificed before the deity on the occasion of her annual Yatra, Jatra festival held in the month of Aswina September to October. The main attraction of Kandhan Bhuti Yatra is Gasori Puja. Gasori means a child pig, which is sacrificed to the goddess every three years. Kandhan Bhuti is also worshipped at Lather village under Mohingari GP in Kalahandi district of Orissa, India, Pasayat, 2009-20-24. The religious belief of Tabu Ra, a form of animal sacrifice of Balinese Hinduism includes a religious cockfight where a rooster is used in religious custom by allowing him to fight against another rooster in a religious and spiritual cockfight, a spiritual appeasement exercise of Tabu Ra. The spilling of blood is necessary as purification to appease the evil spirits, and ritual fights follow an ancient and complex ritual as set out in the sacred Lantar manuscripts. <laughs> East Asian traditions Buddhism and Taoism generally prohibit killing of animals. Some animal offerings, such as fowl, pigs, goats, fish, or other livestock, are accepted in some Taoism sects and beliefs in Chinese folk religion. In Kaohsiung, Taiwan, animal sacrifices are banned in Taoist temples. In Japan, Iomanti was a traditional bear sacrifice that was practiced by the Ainu people. Topic traditional African and Afro-American religions Animal sacrifice is regularly practiced in traditional African and Afro-American religions. The landmark decision by the Supreme Court of the United States in the case of the Church of Lakumi Babalu IV. City of Hialeah in 1993 upheld the right of Santeria adherents to practice ritual animal sacrifice in the United States of America. Likewise in Texas in 2009, legal and religious issues that related to animal sacrifice, animal rights and freedom of religion were taken to the 5th U.S. Circuit Court of Appeals in the case of Jose Merced, President Templo Yoruba Omo Orisha Texas, Inc., v. City of Ulysses. The court ruling that the Merced case of the freedom of exercise of religion was meritorious and prevailing and that Merced was entitled under the Texas Religious Freedom and Restoration Act to an injunction preventing the city of Euless, Texas from enforcing its ordinances that burdened his religious practices relating to the use of animals, see Tex. Civ. Prac. and Rem. Code Section 110.005 Topic see also Animal welfare Animal worship Anthrozoology bans on ritual slaughter Folk religion Human sacrifice Slaughter offering Topic Notes Topic References Topic Bibliography Hilary Rodriguez 2003. Ritual Worship of the Great Goddess, The Liturgy of the Durga Puja with Interpretations. Sunni Press. ISBN 978-0-7914-8844-7. Offering Flowers, Feeding Skulls, Popular Goddess Worship in West Bengal. Oxford University Press. ISBN 978-0-19-534713-5. Barak, Sarmistha, 2009, Bali Yatra of Sunpur in Orissa Review, Vol. 66, No. 2, September, pp. 160-162. Burkert, Walter 1972, Homo Neckens pp. 6-22 Burkert, Walter 1985, Greek Religion, Archaic and Classical, Harvard University Press, ISBN 0674362810 Gihas, Ingvild Selad. Animals, Gods, and Humans, Changing Ideas to Animals in Greek, Roman, and Early Christian Ideas. London, New York, Routledge, 2006, Asterisk Pasayat, c. 2003, Glimpses of Tribal and Folk Culture, New Delhi, On Mole Publications Private. Limited, pp. 67-84. In Saul, t. 2010. Talonzi Animal Sacrifice and Its Archaeological Implications. World Archaeology 42-231-244 Garncy, Peter. Food and Society in Classical Antiquity. Cambridge, Cambridge University Press, 1999. Pasayat, c. 2009, Kanhen Bhuti in Orissa Review, Vol. 66, No. 2, September, pp. 
Petropoulou, M. Z., 2008, Animal Sacrifice in Ancient Greek Religion, Judaism, and Christianity, 100 BC to AD 200, Oxford Classical Monographs, Oxford University Press, ISBN 978 0 19 921854 7. Rosovac, Vincent J. The System of Public Sacrifice in Fourth Century Athens. Atlanta, Georgia, Scholars Press, 1994.